Hey Cancers, welcome to part two of your general reading for October. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody. But I do do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always. Um, so if you want to reach out to me, you can. Thank you for the likes, shares, subscriptions. It really means a lot to me. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome. If you haven't, please feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment. We'll see what's going on with cancers for the second half of October. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. A wedding. This situation involves a marriage. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Giving your relationship a chance. And getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so i feel like if not a marriage this is a committed very committed long-term relationship for some this will be somebody um coming in and being very playful getting to know each other um somebody you may have had a fling with before um, getting more involved with them and giving, you know, it a chance at something more. Let's see here. What's going on for cancers in October? Gathering information on somebody here. Definitely getting to know somebody with the page of swords at the bottom there. Now the sun. Ooh, and the moon. Major clarity coming in. It's like, wow, you was here all along what I was looking for. <laughs> Judgment here. So possibly a second chance for this person. Or, you know, like I said, um, finally seeing somebody that's been there all along. And a chance of coming together. Maybe getting over fears here. Um, because of past relationships. Ace of Cups. With the True Love card. On the True Love card. This is a very deep connection you have with this person and the moon. Six of Swords. So if you've been going through these tough times or tough communication here. It's going to improve now. It's like um, getting everything out in the open, I feel, here. We have the moon come out and the sun at the bottom of the deck. And it's like she's in the dark walking towards um, sunrise here. So it's like getting through the tough times now. Maybe after some secrets of being in the dark. Secrets coming to light here. Maybe somebody having secret feelings for you here. Maybe that's why I'm picking up sort of a friendship sort of thing going to the next level. Six of Wands. So, you know, after successfully coming through, um, you know, a life lesson here, you're starting to feel back on top. The Hanged Man. So I feel like now you've gained new perspective here. For example, here she can maybe not see as clearly as from the sky here. So it's like gaining new perspective, seeing the sun coming up now. So maybe you can see, you know, the brighter days ahead where you've been going through this dark time here with the moon here. I feel like it's definitely a second chance at a major love here. So it's, it could be like a second big love of your life coming in here. After successfully coming through um, 
the challenges of, you know, harder times here. It's like being able to see why you went through these times. Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, you have been waiting a long time to see this brighter day here, to have the success coming in. Six of Pentacles. So this is, um, Six's energy that you're in right now is very positive. It's balancing out, like, for example, while you was waiting and you was the only one feeding the connection. Now I feel it's going to be more balanced here. Definitely a lot of watery energy I'm drawn to here. So it could be another water sign coming in or could have been another water sign you was with here. But now a more balanced out of the energy. Maybe seeing that you was feeding too much into the situation here and they wasn't putting enough in, so pulling back for others here, pulling back on feeding this connection that they're not getting anything from. <clears throat> Five of Wands. So yeah, this is definitely um, going through like arguments and inner conflict. For the Five of Wands for me is arguments with people close to you, like family members, friends and you know loved ones here having arguments with people. Maybe they're wondering why you're not feeding so much into them, whereas before they were used to you doing for them and now you're just like looking at things differently, like I'm not gonna put energy and effort into people who aren't putting it into me anymore. You know, it's like definitely taking care of your energy more positive here, looking out for yourself, putting that love into yourself which is awesome. And it creates this movement here with the Eight of Wands. It creates forward movement in your journey. Definitely if you've been waiting for messages to come in, um, communication is definitely going to get better now. Maybe you're ready to talk to somebody now if you was the one not talking. You know, if you was the one who fell on pause with the hangman and the seven of pentacles here, somebody definitely coming forward now to feed energy into this situation. But definitely for you, being more positive, this is a lot of positivity coming in, gathering momentum here and moving forward um, with the sun card here at the bottom. Four of pentacles under that, somebody holding on after a betrayal. I feel like you finally, you know, get the forward movement you've been craving here. It's like things come into light, definitely. Good luck, guys.